Hey Goonies, welcome to a Windows 10 tutorial and today we have how to set up file sharing for multiple computers on a network. Now that they've removed home group, it is a little bit harder to do this and it's not already set up for users. So I'm going to walk you guys through this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your services. This is going to be the most major thing you're going to do. This is going to fix 90% of people's problems if they've done everything else. What you want to do is make sure that these function discovery provider host and resource publication are running and you can set them to automatic. Definitely the discovery resource publication. And I'm going to just go ahead and set this to automatic to show you guys what to do. Set it to automatic. Make sure you hit start, apply, and OK. Make sure they're both running and set to automatic. All right, next you're going to do is go to the file sharing to make sure that that's all set up. If you've already done this, you don't need to do it. Uh, let's see, network and sharing center. Change advanced, ser advanced sharing settings, excuse me. Make sure that it is turned on for private net networks if that's what you're on. I just turn it on for both. And that should help. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you turn off password protected sharing if you don't want people to have to log in every time they go to access the computer. And now if we want to share a specific folder, so you're going to click, you're going to select something and go down to give access to specific people. You're going to add everyone. And if you want them to read or read and write, you're going to select that. And once you have that done, whatever folders you've shared should be accessible on the network. You're going to do this for both the computers just to make everything simpatico and once you're done you'll be all set to go. Let me know in the comments if this doesn't work for you and we'll try and help you out. I hope to have more videos like this in the future to help everybody out with some of Windows 10's more quirky updates. Catch you guys later.